Hi, I'm going to show you a technique using multi-masking. Now for the first example, it's as if we are looking through two windows at our neighbor's house. And in the second example, I'm going to show you two characters in what seems to be one mask. Now one thing I just want to uh, bring to your attention is that each mask can only have one image, and each image must have its own mask. So. In other words, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So let's see how to make these. So first of all, I'm going to bring in a background. So I'll bring in a rectangle and give it a bit of a color. Let's just give it a light orangey color and expand it over the whole canvas. And what I'm going to do here is just lock it in place so we don't move it. So I'm going to use the lock icon over here. And now that'll stay in place, actually. Let me just expand that a little bit and now lock it. Okay. So we want to bring in our picture. So I have a picture of a house here, which I'm going to bring into the canvas. And again, I'm going to expand it. Now remember I said that each mask has to have its own picture. So we're going to have two masks in this scenario. So we're going to have to have two pictures. So what I will do is just layer these. So I'm going to have this picture here, and I'm going to rename it. We'll call this house one. And then I'm going to duplicate it, and we'll just rename this house 2. So it's the same picture on top of itself. Now we're going to create the masks. So I'm just going to create a rectangular mask, and I'll make them, let's say, about that size. Okay, and we'll expand that. And now I'm going to name this one Mask 1. And again, I'm going to duplicate it and call this one Mask 2. So when they duplicate, they duplicate on top of each other. So this is Mask 2 over here, and we'll just align that here. There we go. Let's just move that over to make it a little bit spaced out a bit more. Okay. That looks pretty good for our example. So what I'm going to do now is mask each picture into its own mask. So I'm going to take, for example, let's just rename this here. That's called House 2. There we go. So we're going to mask house 1 with mask 1, and then we're going to take house 2 and mask it with mask 2, and you'll see what happens. So now we can see the house in the background, it looks as if it's one image, when in fact it's two images, and you can see each mask. So for example, when we look at house 2, there it is, it's a completely separate image but because they're on top of each other, it looks like the same image. Same thing if we choose the mask and move it around. You can see it can move around all over the place. And it will just show what's underneath the mask. So let's just go back here a few and undo that. Perfect. Okay, now I do like the house a little bit higher up, so I'm gonna grab both houses here using the control key. I'm just going to use my arrow keys to nudge it up. So it looks like we're looking a little bit more straight at the house. And I also downloaded this image of a window. Now you can see here that the window has a white background. So what I'm going to do with this is go to Advanced, Remove Color, we're going to Enable it, and use the Color Picker and pick the white. And what this will do is make this image transparent. So now we just have the window without the white background. And what I've done for this is that this is on top here. And I'm just going to align this as best I can to the mask here. So it looks like we're looking through the window. And I'm going to duplicate that on top, grab it, and we 
can move that over to this one here. And there we go. Now it looks like we're looking through two windows at the same house. Okay, now let's move on to the second example where we have two characters within the same mask. So first of all, I'm going to add a background. Let's take, again, a rectangle and we'll make it a bit of a green color this time. And I'm going to expand it. And we're gonna lock it. Great. Now we're gonna bring in a mask. So I'm going to bring in a shape, a circle. Just make it a little bit larger. And I'm gonna call this circle mask one. And because we have two characters, each character has to have its own mask. So we're gonna duplicate this. And let's call this one circle mask two. Now, as you can see, there are two circles here, one on top of each other. So what I'm gonna do now is add a couple characters. So we're gonna add Kate. And I'll just place her a little bit where I want her within the circle. And I'll add Will. And let's put him somewhere about there. So let's animate them a little bit. Kate is idle and then she'll be happy. And then let's get her to be just idle again, it's fine. And then Will, let's say he will wave. And then he can be idle. Let's make him give a thumbs up and then idle again. Okay, that's fine. So now you will see when they're animating, you'll see what they're doing, but they're in front of the circles. Now, one thing I'm going to need later is when we mask, these white circles are going to disappear. So what I'm going to do is duplicate the circle again. Now let's go back and rename this here. Okay, we're going to the one at the bottom I just did here, and let's call this one Circle Background. And we're putting it at the bottom because we want it at the back of the scene. So now we're going to take Kate and going to mask her with Circle Mask 1. And you'll see she'll go inside of the circle. And we're going to take Will and we're going to mask him with Circle Mask 2. Now he's within the circle, but remember it's white because we have a circle background here. So if we take the background out of the way, you'll notice that there's nothing behind them because the masks are invisible. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this back here. There we go, right about there. So now when we play the, the animation, you'll see that both of them look like they're within the same mask. Okay, that's it for multi-masking. Now remember, each mask must have its own image, and each image must have its own mask. Now, I use two masks for each of these examples, but you can use as many as you like. So thanks for listening, and happy animating!